Hi guys, it's Dave here, Very Survival. Going to be making a review of Fire Dragon solid fuel tablets. Get ready, it's going to get hot. What am I talking about? Fire Dragon safer solid fire lighters. These are a new generation competing with your traditional hexamine solid fuel tabs for your portable uh, cooking sets out when you're doing your bushcrafty stuff. Instead of being solid fuel, they've actually come, they are alcohol basically jelly blocks. And these are actually so alcohol and jelly, you can clean your hands with them. So before you start cooking with them, you can disinfect your hands. Or if you've got a wound in an emergency, you could also disinfect that. That's a byproduct. I'll give a close up of this stuff for people that are curious. So there's a box of matches for size comparison. And it's basically a squishy, gel which smells pleasantly of alcohol and that's the packet this fire dragon fuel stuff kept popping up in my social media streams as ads so i bought some to try it out and i've used it when i've been out camping and i thought i'll take a scientific approach to it and film it and do it on camera and compare how well it heats water the fire dragon gel to a traditional hexamine tab the experimental setup will be thus one fire dragon tablet in there in a bcb stove i'll take a measured amount of water one cup of water into the stove i will then light the fire dragon fuel and let it burn for exactly four minutes at which point i'll take the temperature and then we'll compare exactly the same methodology with a traditional hexamine tablet It lights very easily, very quickly with a match or with a lighter. Water goes on. Makeshift lid goes on and timer starts. Ten seconds to go until the four minute mark. I don't know if you can see my mobile phone behind the thing there. I've got the probe out. Okay, there's four minutes, let's take it off. Okay, so it's steaming, it's not boiling, which is why I kept it at four minutes. It's still burning vigorously there. We'll put in the probe. And we've got 57, 50, 56.6 centigrade. 56.6 centigrade. And on the Fahrenheit scale, hundred and thirty it was hundred and thirty it goes down as soon as I take it out but oh, if I turn it around you want better see it it doesn't melt 130 saying on a Fahrenheit scale let's check it again with a centigrade scale let me move this 59 somewhere around that okay let's try it with a hexamine and see if there's a noticeable difference so I've let everything cool off and I've come back with a hexamine tab. Um, this is about the same weight as the gel tab, about 27 grams. So that should be equivalent. So I put that in and same procedure. Let's make sure it's going. It's going. It's exactly the same amount of water on place. Make shift lid on and start the timer for four minutes. Okay, we're coming up to 10 seconds to go to the four minute mark with a hexamine tab. And let's see what we've got. That's four minutes. Let's take off the lid doesn't seem to be steaming as much it's burning still and let's take the temperature in centigrade 46 and we'll try that in Fahrenheit and actually given how much steam is coming out of it it does I already thought it would be cooler 114 113 degrees Fahrenheit let me try 
Get and take one more reading in the centre grade. 40 not 45. So let's say in round figures, the hexamine tab heated that large cup of water to 46 degrees in centigrade in four minutes and the fire dragon heated it to 56 degrees in four minutes which is 114 degrees for the hexamine in Fahrenheit or 132 for the fire dragon in Fahrenheit. Quite a significant difference I think you'd agree that's going to get you your cup of coffee a lot quicker with a fire dragon but then you've got to bring other things into the equation the price of course how you're going to pack it with hexamine tablets they're fairly robust they do you know tend to get crushed up in your pack quite easily but then you can always sprinkle those crumbles in uh, and use them anyway what i did notice with a fire dragon is that once you've opened them you do have to use them pretty quickly because i did open one and i left it open and then when i went back to it it all shriveled up all of the alcohol had evaporated there's literally nothing left of it I can't say how quickly it does that because actually I went back to it like at least a week later. So I don't know if you could leave it even 24 hours, but don't open them if you're not going to use them is my advice. I'm done here. What are you still doing here? Until the next time, take it easy.